Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Bree. I come with a message for you, baby. Listen, God is an untimed God. That's what I want you to know. Listen, God will water your roots and you will blossom. Always make it personal when you're dealing with yourself. Keep looking at God and not at your problems. Nobody knows the plans that God has for you, but he will show the plans that he has for you. Just stay encouraged and allow God to do the best that he can do. And you persevere and do the best that you can do because no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. No weapon will touch you. You cannot and won't be moved. You got to know when and why and where you stand with yourself. Every challenge that life threw at you, you have overcame it. That past hurt, that abuse, God has healed you wholeheartedly. Ain't no more hurt. Ain't no more pain. Ain't no more you hurting yourself. Ain't no more you allowing nobody else to hurt you. Put a death to everything in your past. You're no longer looking at your past because you no longer live in your past. You're right where you need to be. Right where your heavenly father can bless you. Right where he can keep you. Right where he rocking you. God is there. He going to stay there. He's always been there. He won't leave you. And he won't forsake you. Your troubles. Your pain. It won't last always baby. It won't last always. You got to learn to press your way through. You got to learn to stand. You got to learn to speak boldly. to, To yourself. Get in the mirror and encourage yourself. Worship by yourself. Pray by yourself. Intercede for yourself. Stand by yourself. You hear me? You got to learn this, baby, because I'm telling you. You blessed, bruh. You're not even understanding how blessed you is. You're blessed. You're powerful. You're anointed. Take your power back that you have free will and gave to people. Take it back. You have allowed people to misuse you for years. You have allowed people to hurt you for years. But God say no more. He said the change is here and now. He says to release those things that he's called you to release. He told you to come from amongst them people because he's sitting you on some solid ground, baby. It's no more. You ain't no more in no mud. You heard me? You see your lotus flower, you have bloomed. See, God got to the roots, baby, and you have bloomed until he would he needed you to bloom, baby. That trouble. It wasn't going to last always, baby. It wasn't going to last always, baby. Even when you couldn't see clearly, you kept pressing your way through because you knew who was leading and guiding you. Baby, when I tell you God got you, he got you. I don't know who this message is for. While I'm sitting up here studying, God is just giving me so much to say, baby, because somebody going through. You heard me? And you ain't got to go through. You want to know why you ain't got to get go through? Because you already didn't got through. Let go of that past. You holding on to that past hurt, that past shame, that past guilt, re- regret, and all the rest of that. When God is calling you to let it go, baby. Them troubles are over, baby. Except that they over. Except that they over. Except that that betrayal happened to you. That molestation happened to you. Baby, they robbed you. They took you out of the wheel, baby. They cut your cheering out of the money. They took your cheering money, baby. It's okay. Let them people go, baby. Let them have that money. Let him have all that slander. Let him have all that gossip. God needs you to be about his business. Because when God is about, when you about God's business, God is about your business, baby. So let them people go ahead and do them, baby. Let them do, let go. Them troubles ain't last always. They thought they put you in financial consent. They thought they put you in depression. They thought they put you in heartbreak and in pain. But God, but God. He showed up and he showed out on your behalf. He moved, baby. Let that go. Get up. Do what God is calling you to do, baby. It is. This is your season, baby. He's giving you another opportunity to redo the old you, baby. You know, everybody, everybody counted you out, but God counted you in. You heard me? Favor ain't fair, but baby, he gave you favor over your life. You could have been dead and gone. You could have been in prison. Your children could have been taken, baby, but God kept you, baby. That trouble ain't last, baby. That roadblock they put up for you, baby. They threw you under the bus. They did all kind of stuff to you, but God, he showed up and he showed out and he redeemed you, baby. 
They wanted you to be quiet. They don't want you to speak. But God said he's giving you the voice to speak, baby. He said your words is powerful and it's moving and it's touching people. God said you should not be quiet. You should not be still. God said he needs you to move. He said go. He said your name is in places your feet ain't even touch yet. God said he got something for you. He said he got something from you. And he's taking you where he needs you to go. He's taking you and won't you go. Go where God needs you to go. Don't get yourself wrapped. Hang it up and tie it up. <coughs> and nothing. Let go of the past. You keep holding on to the past hurt, the past pain and all the rest of that. Let it go. Free yourself. God has freed you, baby. There's no more pain. There's no more heartache. There's no more terrible. There's no none of it. God got you. And what God has for you is just for you, baby. It's for you. I need you to press your way forward. Keep pressing until you can't press no more. Because God loves you. And he got you. It's your girl, Bree. I love you guys. Keep looking up to the hills which come with your help. And your help coming from the Lord. Your later days is better than your greater. Right here, right now. Baby, you reaping. You reaping his harvest, baby. Stay faithful. Stay strong. You got this. Peace.